For the first time in five years, Natticoke High School basketball coach Sil Bozinski won't be watching the playoffs from the stands. This time around, Bozinski is back at the scene of some of his greatest triumphs, the district playoffs, and he says he's glad to be back. Well, it feels great, Sid. It's nice to be back. We thought these youngsters would develop a little sooner in the season, that we'd be a little bit more competitive, but uh, we had to wait till the end of the season to get back in the playoffs, but it does feel uh, real fine. The first obstacle on the AAA playoff path for the Trojans will be powerful Coughlin, a team they met twice during the regular season. Uh, I think John Quinn's team is an excellent ball club. They were an experienced ball club. In fact, two times that we did play them, uh, we played them an excellent game down here, but they blew us out up there mainly because they had a little more experience. They flustered us. Their, their defense just uh, de demolished us completely in that second game up there, but uh, I think we'll be ready for them this time. The, the team of Coffin is just a flatterly and just scavenge, and like, if you stop them to you know, hold them down, I think we can beat them. It's just that we got to get our running game going early on, and then we can beat them. You're in the playoffs. Is there a lot of pressure on you? Is that on your mind? Yeah, we weren't in there for a long time, and we're all young, first time in there, so I'll have a little thing to do with it, too. Is there a lot of pressure on you and the team going into the playoffs? Not really, because we're going fourth team going in, fourth place team. So everybody figures we're just going to lay back, but we're going to go for it this time. The two teams will open their playoff action against each other tonight. I'm Sid Michaels, Eyewitness Sports. Last night's game between Natticoke and Coughlin went into two extra periods before the issue was finally settled. But according to Trojans coach Sil Bozinski, the game could have been decided in the first quarter, which ended with the teams deadlocked at 19. I think the turning point was early in the first quarter where uh, uh, we didn't succumb to their pressure. We, we matched their pressure, we broke their press, we got some early baskets, and I think that's at the tenor of the game. In fact, I was quite surprised that he stayed with that press the whole first half because it allowed us to take, get the momentum up for ourselves. The next step on the playoff road for the Trojans will be Lackawanna League entry Scranton Central. It's a team Natticoke beat on their own home floor in the preseason. And we played uh, Scranton Central here early in December and we beat them by nine points. Of course, I didn't have Brian Eddy at that time, but uh, I know that if this is playoff time and Bob Gilbride will have the Central team ready. The two play tomorrow night, seven o'clock at King's College. The winner goes on to Saturday's District AAA Championship. Sid Michaels, Eyewitness Sports. Game one between Nanny Coke and Scranton Central came right down to the closing seconds of play. The Trojans tied the game at 58 all on this jump shot by Ken Shinsky. He finished with 19 points. Then Bob Ferrucci came right back with this bomb from the top of the key, and the Trojans had the lead at 60 to 58, but Central tied it up with a pair of free throws later. The moment of truth, four seconds left in regulation. Jim Cross hits this 20-foot jump shot from the wing, and that sent the crowd and the Scranton Central bench into a complete frenzy. The Trojans still had one shot. Sil Bozinski called a timeout to set up the final effort to stay alive in the playoffs. The inbounds pass up the court. One second left and the bomb attempt by Ken Pionkowski hits the iron and does not fall. And Scranton Central advances to the AAA Championship Final Saturday night at the CYC. In game two, 